Keeping in time to the music, as well as balancing and staying composed, are skills these girls have plenty of. The Otago Rhythmic Gymnastics Champs attracted 164 competitors from all over the country. And it's an important qualifier for many of those taking part. There's only a limited number of sanctioned competitions per year and um, that gives them the opportunity to make sure that they've qualified for nationals. The girls are aiming for national and international competitions, but to get there takes many hours of dedication to their chosen sport. It's a lot of training goes in for these individuals, plus uh, they may also be in a group. So you're looking at possibly 12, 15 hours a week. As the Olympics in Rio gets into full swing, these girls are closely following the gymnasts on the world stage and it's an event that has a huge impact on the sport locally. We've got people in the sport that are passionate about rhythmic gymnastics, so yes, they will be glued to their television sets. Um, each time the Olympics comes up, there is a new grade, there's a new standard set, there's different types of qualifications they want to see, um, different categories, more emphasis on different types of skills, so yes, the sport gets revised nearly every, after every Olympics. It's skills like these that all those hours of training and hard work could see some of these girls representing their clubs at the highest levels. For the first time, the New Zealand National Gym Sports Championships is to be held in Invercargill this September. D. Karen, 39 Dunedin News.